everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. And we got a little Bella in this intro too. Look at that. Oh dear, where are you going? <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the start of another weekend reading vlog. It's Friday. It's like content day in media, you know? We have Adele's new album, which I did listen to and it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. None of the music really stood out to me. But it, it's nice that we've got more music from Adele. I think Easy On Me is her best song on that album, which is why she picked it for a single. And then the the last song on the album, something like Love Is A Game, I think is what it's called, Love Is A Game. That one's also really good. So that probably will be her second single off that album, but it was a good time. <gasps> what else is happening today? Wheel of Time is dropping today or did drop today, the first three episodes, which I'm so excited about. And I really hope I can watch this weekend at some point because I want to watch them so bad. But tonight, I have my very last D&D &D game in the campaign that I'm playing in as my asshole elf man, Arlius. <laughs> and I'm excited. I'm excited because we're just going to dive right into a ton of combat right off the bat. And then it's going to be like the epilogue, essentially. So that'll be super fun. But other than that, this weekend, uh, tomorrow... I'm going to my condo and I'm gonna start laying some floors in my bedroom because that had an old carpet that needed to be replaced. And then Sunday I have a book club with my friends. Um, we're going to meet at a local bookstore cafe thing and have like lunch there and then go browse books afterwards. And then I have a bunch of running around to do. So I think I'm gonna do that on Sunday. This weekend, I don't really know what I'm gonna be reading. I realized that I've only finished three books this month so far, which is not like me at all. All. So I am hoping that I can do some reading this weekend. I would really like to read Jade Fire Gold by June C. Altan. I think that'll probably be the goal. That one and of course The Dragon Reborn. I'm still making my way through that. I tried to read a little more of The Royal Assassin today because I have the audiobook on script and I don't know what it is about Robin Hobbs like the Royal Assassin books but I find them so boring at the beginning so we're just gonna have to see if I want to carve out hours on hours to get through this because the audiobook is like 25 hours long so we're gonna see about that one <laughs> I'm undecided for that one but yeah I think this I think this weekend is going to be pretty much just Wheel of Time with Dragon Reborn and the show whenever I can actually uh, watch that and then Jade Fire Gold Jade Fire Gold, I think that's what it's called. The new release from June CL Tan. I've read like the first chapter of it. I brought it to work one day this week and listened to the audiobook for it there as well. And so far, I like the writing. I love like the prologue part was great. It really grabbed my attention and it had some beautiful lines. So the writing is wonderful so far, but that's the plan. Right now, I got work for another two and a half hours and then D&D &D tonight. So we also, our mom has to take Bella to the vet at two because we think she has a little bit of a urine, urinary tract infection. So we gotta take her to the vet because there's never a dull moment with this dog. <laughs> we were gonna do a bunch of running around tonight. Like we were gonna go to my condo and I don't actually know what we were gonna do tonight. I don't know what we were gonna do. Um, but mom, mom kept saying that we had to go do something. So I was like, all right. And we had a little bit of running around to do, but I think we can probably just do that tomorrow when we go to the condo to lay some flooring, <laughs> which shouldn't actually take that long because it's just one room. So fingers crossed. But yeah, I actually get to see my condo tomorrow for the first time since I first saw it <laughs> like with my realtors. So my parents have been there so many times since because I work all day and then I teach in the evenings. I just have no time to do anything. So I haven't had time this week to go see it since we've had like the, the ability to go in. It's been mine. It's mine officially. I'm a homeowner, so. This weekend's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be busy, but I'm okay with that. Hopefully I can actually finish a book this weekend. This is the plan. We'll catch up with you guys a little later. I forgot that I had the book with me in here. That is so funny, oh my god. Because I filmed a like winter TBR or like end of the year TBR yesterday and I didn't take the books down. But yeah, I have the book, Jade Fire Gold. This is what I wanna read uh, this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, I need to take those down. Anyways, this weekend's read. <laughs> Hello again. It's me. Hi. I'm here and I'm currently uh, working on Project Dream a little bit because, my guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I have two chapters left to write, to edit. Two chapters and then I'm done. And uh, next steps are querying 
and I never thought I'd get here. It's been like a goal, as you guys well know, of mine for a while, but I'm here. This draft is at 69,263 words. I have two more chapters to go. So let me just let me just look at the, the word count of uh, Project Dream Draft 4. I had 84k in that one. So I've cut over, hopefully, over 10k going into this one, which is so satisfying. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so happy with this. I'm also like emotional because I've just been hanging out in my office playing Taylor Swift's all too well 10 minute version for like multiple times and like belting it out and just getting super emotional about it and now I'm listening to her folklore album because that's one of my faves and it's gonna go into evermore I'm just having a great afternoon I'm having a great afternoon uh, mom is still at the vet with Bella have yet to hear from her but hopefully everything is going okay that's my that's my Friday so far just thought I'd let you know I'm two chapters away from being done. Project Dream, draft five. Ah! <laughs> We're just done work for today because we've been working for hours and we're all exhausted so we're about to go home but i'm in it and it's so good i love it i'll talk to you later <laughs> wanted to pop in and say hi because it's officially Sunday. It's book club day which is why I'm dressed and like ready to go. <laughs> I also wanted to pop in because last night I ended up powering through all of Jade Fire Gold. I just I was chilling there and I was working on my sweater that I'm nearly done. I was making some ribbing for it and you know just kind of casually getting through it and I finished it and I really really enjoyed this one. It is a very very solid YA. Uh, it wasn't a new favorite or anything but it was very very good. The writing was lovely. It's about two people on an Elton who meet in a very interesting way and they end up having to go on this quest together in a way both of them have very different means to the end and like what they want from each other but it ends up being like a little bit of like enemies to lovers. A little bit not really and the pining and the angst in this is very very good and it's just it was good it was really good um our main character An has like magical powers that she doesn't know how to control she ends up being revealed to be this really important person in this world who can like 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 turn fate basically which is really cool she has like the fate of the world in her hands and by the end of this she's just her power is so cool um but yeah i really recommend it if you guys are looking for an interesting an interesting book and what i can compare this to because i have not read what it's compared to i've read to a song I've read A Song of Wraiths and Ruin on here, but I don't think it's it's a good comparison at all. I don't see the comparison. But what I can compare this to is like, there's a lot of Avatar in it. The magic systems in this definitely can be considered like elemental magic, which is, you know, Avatar. There's not bending, but it's like, it's got like the fire and the fire is the hardest to control and whatever. And, and probably, and there's a lot of like figures in this that are quite Avatar-esque. If this was like a story that followed uh, Katara 
and Zuko. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, very Avatar. And I got a little bit of a flavor of like almost an ember in the ashes at some times, but Avatar, I, I'm trying to think of any other books that this would really be compared to because there's a lot of books like this in YA fantasy who, that like they kind of depend on each other. So I'm thinking probably there's like a ton out there that I haven't read that would probably fit very well for comparisons for this, but yeah, it was good and I'm done it. And you know, that was my priority read for the weekend. So yay, fourth book of November. November finished and it's November 21st or whatever today. I don't have my watch on. I don't know what day it is today, but what else can I talk to you guys about? Oh yeah, my condo. We got halfway done the flooring in my room because we were working on like the area by the door and the closet for hours because there's like really specific cuts that have to be done and you have to just re-keep doing it, re-keep doing it and measuring and fiddling with an exacto knife and all that kind of stuff. So that took forever. But when we actually got into the, just the laying straight flooring, it went a lot faster. My dad, I could tell that he was fading at noon. So like he just like his whole demeanor changed <laughs> and I was just like, we're gonna go now. Yeah, halfway done. And I think today um, after book club, I'm gonna go back to the condo and see if they need my help again because I know they are going to breakfast they're at breakfast right now with with some friends and then they're going to the condo after that They have to pick up more flooring because we underestimated how much we were gonna need and So I'm gonna see after book club if if they're still there I'm gonna go and go to the condo and, and see if I could help lay the last bit of flooring or whatever they we need to do there But once that's done and once my painters done this week, I can start moving in We're gonna we're gonna see how this week goes with the painter And then I have to set up the Wi-Fi guy because I can't move in until I have Wi-Fi there because once I move I need to be able to work from home and work from home. I need Wi-Fi for that. So it all hangs in the balance <laughs> But that's okay. Those are the updates today as I said book club day so I'm gonna go upstairs. I don't know if I'm gonna end up reading anything else today, but oh, I didn't even tell you guys. I finished Project Dream Draft 5 on Friday. I ended up finishing it. I finished it and I went back through and I like named all of the chapters, which is very exciting. And then I spent an ordinate amount of time yesterday trying to format and fix it like in a way that could be like printed and then readable. <laughs> so, I was trying to do that in a way that would print with the chapter names, which took me too long to figure out how to do that from Scrivener, but that's okay because it's not something I usually do. Oh man, I'm done it. I'm done it. I'm done draft five and I can't believe I'm done it. I think I'm gonna leave it sit just for like a few days before going back in and like polishing up the first three chapters again, just to go through them and make sure there's no like typos or anything terrible. And then I'm gonna start the querying process because I feel like I wanna do that, test the waters and just see what happens, so. Oh, so exciting. But yeah, everything's everything's happening and it's uh, November. It's the end of November. Yes, my friends, I should go. This has been a really long update, so I'll catch you later. book club was great we all collectively like it didn't love the book at all so it was more of a rant than anything else but that's okay we were talking about the wolf and the woodsman i don't think i could recommend that book to you guys i don't think i could um now like on like retrospect i don't think i could it was fine in my opinion but just the way all four of us didn't really like it at all is, is telling <laughs> it's pretty telling so just so you know, when we were there, we also browsed the bookstore because it is a bookstore and we, you know, had a great time. And then I went to my condo and finished laying the floor with my dad. It, he had it basically finished when I got there because they had been there when I was at book club and the painter was there as well and he was chatting with us. Uh, but yeah, the floor is done and once the paint's done, I just need to move in. So things are happening, guys. Things are happening. I do also know I just need the Wi-Fi <laughs> in and then I can move my stuff in because I need Wi-Fi in there to be able to work from home and to be able to 
actually move in, I need to be able to work from home, right? So, whole thing. But at the bookstore, I picked up Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, and that's what I've been reading since I got home. I am now on page 143 on chapter 13, and I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> It's a fantastic time. I'm really enjoying it. The audiobook is fantastic. Uh, the narrator is so good, but it's just, it's chaotic and, and clippy, and I love the narration style of it. It's very good, the book itself, too. But yeah, the narr the audiobook narrator <laughs> is awesome. She's so engaging. I uh, really like her. This is what I've been reading for the rest of the day. I was in the mood for something different. Nothing was really, nothing that I'm currently reading is sparking joy right now. I'm, I'm loving The Dragon Reborn, but I just didn't want to read it today. <laughs> I want to read something a little bit quicker and something that I can get through fairly fast. And the, you just can't get through a Wheel of Time book fast because they're so large. So I picked up a 500 page sci-fi instead, but this is going quite quick. As I said, this is page 140 something and love it. But now I'm gonna get into bed and finish crocheting my sweater. I have the ribbing done. I just need to do the neck, which I'm planning on doing like a kind of a cowl turtleneck, I think. I think that's the plan. Um, so we're gonna try and do that tonight. But instead of reading with it, I think I'm gonna watch some Dungeons and Dragons. I think I might try and catch up on Dimension 20's content because I know like I've missed the entire season of the seven and I feel like that's probably a good, a good bit of content that I should start going through because I have absolutely love Dimension 20's content and the Fantasy High is my favorite that they've got for, for Dungeons and Dragons and the Seven is a spinoff of that so I really enjoyed the first few episodes when I watched them so I think I'm gonna go do that. That's what's up. It's officially Sunday night already. I feel like I haven't had a weekend. I am so tired. So bone tired. I'm just looking forward to this weekend coming up because I think we're gonna start like kind of moving stuff in I think. I say that but my parents keep like pushing it back because they still have they have other things to do and I'm just like I want I want to move in can I move in this weekend please can we call people to move my piano okay <laughs> please <laughs> that's okay I think I think we're gonna have Wi-Fi in there Friday which is very exciting so <sighs> everything's happening but yeah I'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow to end up this vlog as of right now which is like what is it 7 36 at night it's been a good weekend it's been a productive weekend we got the flooring in my place which is exactly what we needed to do and now we just wait for the painting to be done and then I can move in exciting <laughs> I'll catch you with you guys later It's Monday. Happy Monday. And I'm in my brand new sweater. Let me put you in the midst of my jungle here. And I'm in my sweater. I love it so much. It is so cozy. I keep wanting to do this and like hug myself. That's how cozy this is. I adore it. And this neck is my favorite thing. <laughs> it gave me so much grief last night, but I finished it. So <sighs> happy about that. But yes, my friends, it's Monday. So it's Monday, so you guys know what that means. It's time to close out this vlog. I'm currently in the middle of my work day. Things are going great. I sorted out my Wi-Fi this morning and for my condo, I'm going to have Wi-Fi Sunday. It's good, like the modem is gonna be delivered this Sunday here and then we can install it ourselves in the condo to be activated next Monday. That means I can move in whenever that's like a thing which is so exciting i think this weekend we might bring my bed and like my table and just like a, a few things up there so we can like move me in as soon as i have my bed there though i need like everything else there because that's where i need to be <laughs> but yeah we're gonna figure it out but yes my friends thank you so much for watching this weekend has been a crazy busy crazy productive weekend friday i finished up project dream draft five which is so exciting i th oh i should send that to my dad to see if he can print it off for me <laughs> i'm gonna do that today and i also had my last D, D game as my character arlius the campaign is done we were successful we saved the world it's all good things saturday 
we started laying the floor in my bedroom, which we finished up Sunday. Saturday, we also just, you know, hung around and I ended up polishing off Jade Fire Gold. I got through like the majority of it, literally probably the whole thing, because I was only on chapter one when I started this book this weekend. So really enjoyed this. I ran it through Copile. It's like a three and a half star. It's like a very middle of the road book. It's great. It doesn't surprise me in any way. The writing was good. The plotting was good. The characters are fine. That kind of a thing. Do recommend it though because I feel like this is going to be a big, big book on the internet because <laughs> I just remembered that this ship in here, like the two main characters who have like the enemies to lovers thing, very Tara and Zuko. So it's a very Zutara book and I really like that about it. So then Sunday was also equally as busy. Went to book club and then I went back to my condo and and finish laying the floors and we just did a bunch of stuff and I feel like I haven't had a weekend to just calm down but yesterday I ended up also buying Gideon the Ninth by Thames and Muir which I started as well which is great because I need something I need to read something that I'm actually excited to read just because I don't I don't know why I just haven't really been recently really been reading a lot and nothing's been like calling my name to be read so this is very exciting and i will be continuing with this and uh hopefully it'll be great and then yesterday i finished my sweater watched some dimension 20 got two more episodes into the narrative of the seven and i love i love dimension 20 it was such a lovely way to to wind out the weekend just watching dungeons and dragons and crocheting <laughs> it was a good time but yes my friends that's what's been happening. I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend. If you made it to the end, leave me a little house emoji because I'm gonna be moving into my own place soon. Leave me a little house emoji of some kind. Yes, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in another video very, very soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.